So Dave, I know that you own a few rental properties yourself, um, quite a few actually, but what is one, uh, I mean, what is something that you look for when you're purchasing a rental property? So I don't have a specific type of property that I actually target. I'm more just, I look for where the opportunity is, right? So my first couple of properties, you know, they were sitting for a while, they needed some work and you know, they weren't moving. So we were able to grab them at a good price. Then I bought a few new builds because over the last, you know, while it's been a while now, you know, yeah. um, there was great opportunity in new builds, right? So that's what I did with that right now though, if like I got another new build closing in the new year, so I'm not really in the market to buy right now. But if I was looking to buy right now, what I'm really excited about are two unit properties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, like one specifically, I just seen on the Hamilton mountain, three bedrooms upstairs, two bedrooms downstairs sold for six ninety five. Let's say, okay. That's what it sold for. Put 20% down on this property because that's what you basically need when you're buying an investment property. You got to put 20% down. After the current rates, you're looking at around $3,400 a month for a mortgage. Okay. Tack on another, you know, $300 between property tax and insurance. You're at around 3,700 bucks a month. Okay. On the safe side, a three bedroom unit on the Hamilton mountain, you're looking at around what? $2,400 a month. Yeah, I'd say that's very safe. Very yeah, safe. Very safe. Very safe. Okay. <laughs> Right now. Basement, two bedroom basement apartments, again, being on the conservative side, $1,800 a month, you're at $4,200 a month. Okay. That's $500 a month cash positive at these current rates. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think you're ever going to see 695 for that type of property, type of property yeah. again. But when those rates come down, okay, now you're $500 a month cash flow. You might be at six, maybe $700 a month. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's not even to you know, touch on the fact that your equity, once everybody jumps back in and prices go up, your equity is going to boom. Cause these were trading those, that style of home was trading for like, I think what high eights, nine hundreds at the right? peak of it in February. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that's uh, just, I, I th always think if something's hit that price before, I don't see why it wouldn't hit that price again. Like it's obviously not in the next short term, but in the next year, two years or something, why it won't come back up to that. So that's also another, we, we getting back to a little piece of advice. Okay. Guys right now, especially you cannot think short term when it comes to real estate. Okay. Before I know everybody was thinking, you know, six months, I'm going to buy this property. It's going to go up 200 K in six months. I'm going to be beautiful. Now you have to think long term. Okay. So I'm telling all my clients, guys, is this, is this going to be something that you're looking to buy and sell within six months? No, if it's a long-term investment, don't worry about it. In the end, real estate always wins. So if you're thinking long-term, even if the price does say, for example, happen to dip in the next short term, long-term, you're going to be okay. Yeah. And that's it. Long-term is always, I mean, I've said on this podcast, uh, the show, like a few times just about how you now is the time with real estate, be thinking that five year, 10 year mark. Yes where you hit it, people thought, yeah, six months, yeah. boom, make, I'm going to make a, you know, 50K, 100K. Exactly. Um, Taking